songs, right? Yeah, I don't give right. a damn if it was off right. of Sesame Street, ABC One, Two, Three. Right. She still got nominations. It was on Fat Joe songs. The diff- the difference, the difference in Chance the Rapper. So you're gonna Rudy take Ma- you're gonna take away her. Just let me make a point about the difference, real quick. Chance the Rapper makes his own songs, and people listen to those songs. Like nobody listens to Remy Ma. They're listening. Obviously, listen to three million dollars, even at five hundred thousand dollars. Hell, somebody was listening to her ass. Do you got five hundred thousand dollars? That's that, but that's that's crumb. Do you? Ha- Why is it? Cr- now, hold on, hold on, I don't hold on, have five hundred thousand dollars. Hold on, hold on. Don't don't turn it towards me. No, I'm asking you, you. But people. That, but you know what? Wait, 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 wait. People, in the industry I work in. Though. People, people that's get me. People get me though. They be like, oh, this and that, and, and she don't make this. This bitch got five hundred thousand dollars. I don't have. I, I don't know anybody you who has five hundred thousand dollars. It. It was She's just, comfortable though. You it's have to. Assets. You have no. 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 She ain't got no assets, B. It's about assets, right? You, yeah. You, that's the first thing you said. Yeah, it's about assets, assets, for sure. So it's not based on how much money she has, right? Right. So get that part out of here. I'm just saying that people listen to Chance the Rapper. Nobody listens to Remy Ma until she made shit. And you know what? And that's interesting to me because I, I looked it up, at, uh, actually. Um, for a season of love and hip-hop, for a season of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, in the house. Four hundred thousand dollars a season. Yeah. So maybe that's where her five hundred thousand dollars came from. But she's going to continue to get money. She just did this song I with uh, Keisha like, Cole. You're going like rah rah for it, old Jody. Like I'm not because you know her. what? I'm I'm gonna be honest I'm with you. I, I'm just saying I'm not a but Remy like, Ma it's fan. A lot of people I'm Instagram. not a Nicki Minaj fan. And I'm being obje- totally objective about it. I, I, I see it. From I'm unbiased. I, I am too. I see it from both perspectives. Like Remy Ma as a rapper is clearly better than the girl. Like it's it's no even it's not even a debate. Like, right. Remy Ma is clearly better. But from a career standpoint, whose career would you choose? Looking on the outside, looking in. Like if you don't choose Nicki Minaj, you, you, I mean you got to be crazy. No, I'm going to choose Remy you, you because be she's rich free. And then you could go independent. She not she not a slave to a record label. She can leave anytime she wants. Who? Nicki Minaj. No, the hell she can't. Why can't she? Because she's binded in this shit. Not Man, you no, crazy. No, 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 yes, they are. are yes, they are. The majority they of them, leave. normally you, you get a pretty shitty contract. Lawyers, you pay a team of lawyers. Man. You, you Ask Dr. Dre. Man. Well, ask Dr. Dre. He's he, smart. Nicki Minaj ain't that smart. Well, that bitch ain't that smart. It's, it, it, so if, if somebody else is smart, there's a blueprint to do exactly what they did if you want to. Like Man, you said, you to do the exact same at thing. the end of the day, I really hope we're still so how podcasting. You, how do you know Nicki Minaj ain't smart? She's not that bright. How do you know? I can listen to her interview. She's not that bright. She's all over the place. Exactly. She's all over the place. And Remy Ma seems she's not. Like, she's not well, well spoken. You don't know if they, if they, she, she's I, well spoken. Who? Nicki Minaj? You fucking crazy. Nicki Minaj is well spoken. No, what fuck she's she is. All over the place. Okay. You know what? We're gonna move on. We're just gonna have to move on. We're gonna we're gonna move on. She playing devil's advocate to play devil's no, advocate. I'm no, I'm not. Cool. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's my opinion. I'm sticking to that shit. <clears throat> you didn't stick to the social media thing. Who me? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> anyway, we're Yossi. we're gonna Yossi. we're gonna move on. We're gonna, moving along. <laughs> now I was about to ask. I was about to uh, ask about. Uh, because I have been very unsuccessful with this. <clears throat> uh, I have no idea why. <clears throat> but relationship sex. Oh. Like I've been I'm like I'm I'm successful. Is relationship sex like the best sex though? I'm, I'm not in a relationship, so I don't know. I'm I'm gonna ignore the question. So anyway, <laughs> like so I've been successful at having sex with women. Mm-hmm. And not to say that like don't listen to this and be like what's successful by having sex that's not what I'm saying I'm just trying to make a point and say that like I have had sex with women and it was good mm-hmm. but like I've not I've yet to achieve damn that makes it sound fucked up too Go ahead and not, say it. not necessarily that it's been bad it just ain't been enough of it then I put it like that what hasn't been enough though I ain't had enough sex in a relationship you haven't to had to you like haven't it. had enough sex in any in relationship in the past not, relationships? Not most of them, most of them haven't had much sex. It's like, but why? Why do you think that is? Like well, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Know, let me ask you this. So, outside of a relationship, do you feel like you were having more consecutive mm-hmm. sex? Yep. And then you got in a relationship, and it wasn't as much sex. <laughs> Died down immediately. Do you think that maybe it has to do with the type of woman? 
your the type of women you're dating and the type of women that you choose to sleep with? I don't know. Do you sure, think? Do you that, think that? That's not, but but I'm not. I'm not looking for a relationship counseling though. Oh my! God. Now <laughs> you know good well. We. I'm trying to find out what's like an applicable, like not not even applicable. What's like what, what's a good like what's a good ratio like like day to day? How many times in a relationship you know should you have sex? Yeah, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I'll be honest. Um. The last relationship that I was in, we did not have a lot of sex, but that wasn't because of me. Boo! It was. It wasn't. It wasn't because of me. It was. It wasn't because I didn't want. It, it wasn't because I didn't want to have sex. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a person that likes to have sex like every day. Like I could have sex every day. Um, I could have sex on my lunch break, and I'm just being completely transparent because this is 2020 vision. This is what we do. We keep it real. Um, uh, I could have sex every day. Preferably in the morning, um, maybe like two o'clock in the evening. That's usually my peak, but I could have sex every day. Um, but at the last relationship, I, I think, but I think with relationships though, if we really had to break it down. I think maybe people don't really have a lot of sex in relationships because it's always a bunch of problems going on. You know, you're going up and down. That's usually what relationships are as opposed to somebody that you're not in a relationship with. You don't have problems because y'all just know we're just having sex. That's the way to look at it. You know what I'm uh, saying? It's just sex. The, ain't, ain't no strings. We got an understanding. That's the way to we're going to have sex. It. But like, I got a good friend of mine, you know, uh, he and his fiance, they beef all the time. All the time. Matter of fact, every time I see him, it's a little beef popping. <laughs> I just went to see him like two weeks ago. They was beefing. But they was fucking too. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I, that's what they get off on. Maybe so. You Makeup know, sex. Knows, and and some know. people and some people get off they on that. They up. They was arguing after they got done too. Like uh, I, I went out to smoke a cigarette because uh, you know that ain't saying? healthy though. The pup. I, I mean, it's, 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 if that's how you communicate, it's what you do. You ain't slapping each other. Or nothing. I mean, it is what it True. is. True. But I don't. Want, I don't. I don't want to. Like I really don't want to think about it that way mm-hmm. because people will think well. If I get in a relationship, then sex ain't gonna be that great, and then. We don't want to base our relationship on makeup sex because it's not healthy. I'm telling you that sex ain't going to be great when you get in a relationship. I'm telling you that my sex wasn't great when I got. Uh, like I said, so but bad. what type of women are you are you deciding to settle yourself down no, with? I don't mean no disrespect. Are they fuddy duddies? No, they're not, no, they're not fuddy duddies. I think, uh, shit, my, um, no, nah, I ain't finna get to talking about ex-girlfriends or nothing. They're not fuddy duddies, okay? Well, let me ask you this then. Okay, let me ask you this. Before... You sealed the deal to be in a relationship was the sex garbage. So the last, so two of the last three did not have sex with them until I got into a relationship. So you didn't test drive the car before you bought it. No, I didn't. I was, I caught myself being, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Fairly gentlemanly, if you will. Like, uh, usually like that. And that's, that's what, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women fussing about these days, you know what I'm saying? Netflix and chilling y'all and. And, you know what I'm saying, not taking you out on dates and shit. And, like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if you're approaching a woman, uh, if you're you, if you courting her, you know what I'm saying, then, then, you know what I'm saying, do it the right way. So, that's For what sure. I did. So, which means you can't really complain about it. Uh, well, I guess you could I complain, didn't complain about, about it. it. I just bounced. You just went with it. But how long? Lo- fucking bounced. What do you mean? Wait, well, let me ask you this, though. Huh? Did you do anything to make it better? Did you talk about, like, hey... Without really saying this shit is garbage. We're just saying, hey, let's try this. Or I really don't like... For me, though, for me, I have... Wait, wait, wait. For me, I have no problem saying, hey, I don't really like this. Or we should do this more. Or we need to improve on this. You can't really complain. Don't don't offer... Uh, Don't... don't what am I? I said it this weekend at Dar's birthday party. It's kind of rude to don't just, present a problem if you can't pre- present a solution. But it's kind of rude to. Uh, I mean, you it, you can present a solution. Like you got to be subtle about it, though. You can, it's kind of rude to, to tell somebody you care about. Hey, uh, your head is whack. Like what the fuck? The way like, the presentation kinda, kinda of it, you can't. But you can't be like you. You have. Do you have? You're right. You have so, to be subtle, but you have to speak up on a closed mouth. Don't get fed. You have to say something yeah, about it. Don't get fed. I, and I, I, did you say? I, but let me I, ask you. Did, did you say, say anything? Of course I did. How did that go? I mean, 
it, it's the same. It's the same as any other relationship conversation. Okay, well, I see what you know. I uh, I I, I, I keep that in mind. The same shit I would have said. I'm, I, I I keep that in mind. I respect that. That's cool. So when did you, you? So let me ask you. When 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 did you when did you ask or when did you say hey this is not this this ain't this and that ain't that well i don't know i ain't with them motherfuckers right now so was it in the know, car like, riding in the car i mean riding in the car no 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 that's not the right time to Sitting do it down, that's eating, not the right time to do house, it house wherever like I, it's, I, if, if it were me and i can only speak for myself if if the next relationship i get into anybody it, i'll say relationship because that's the only time i'm probably going to give a damn about your opinion on my sex game um something like that you're gonna have to present to me when we're laying down for bed or pillow talking Uh because i'm probably gonna correct the problem right then if you tell me i don't like it when you do this i would prefer you do that then i'm probably gonna say okay like this so you know what i'm saying like i'm i got a lot of unsuccessful relationships on the docket okay like so like, <laughs> when I when I say like I've tried to talk about that shit before in different like I, 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 I've done whatever you saying I promise you I have I've already fucking done that I know for for I know specifically the last time I had to speak about it I spoke about it just like you said just now so like let me ask, well let me ask you this you sure it ain't you I'm positive it's not me you sure because because you ain't never had sex with them and they ain't never had sex with you. You sure it ain't garbage because it it, even, it they're, they're trying close. to adapt to you? You know what? Maybe I, I could be whack. You That's could cool. be. That 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 could be a possibility. It, it, might not, it may not be them. Now you can't you that can't put it all on the other person. That could definitely be a possibility. I'm not putting it on them though. I'm talking the the the, the frequency. Mm-hmm. The fucking frequency definitely was they fault. Well, maybe because it was you. <clears throat> well, it ain't me no more. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. If uh, no, I mean, no, 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 that's 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 totally. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, it's, that's it's always two sides to a story. So right? Yeah, that's respectable. Maybe I was the one, and maybe they shit. just they felt like you, you were just uh, you're not approachable to try to correct the problem. Tell you what, uh, we're gonna go back to this single thing. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see how that goes again. So it's cool. Okay, so back to casual sex for you. Yeah. Why not? Or not even, and not even that. Like not even that though. I don't even. I don't even have to have casual sex. It's not even like that. But man, we living in this motherfucker. <laughs> we we doing it. I need some pussy, man. Right? Every day. Yeah, but I hate to say that on the podcast. I mean, every day. Real, man. I, it would be nice. It sure would be nice. Once a day. What's okay on average? Okay, on if, if it's not every day, what what is? What what like, is a good I'm, amount of so sex like, for you in a relationship? So like most most dudes, you know what I'm saying, lose you lose your your sex drive, you know what I'm saying, going into your 30s. Mhm. I have yet to have that issue. Like I I don't have that issue. So like, you're a very sex, sexual like, person. I still have a high sex drive. Like okay. like like I was when I was, you know what I'm saying, in my my early to mid 20s or whatever. Okay. Fucking <clears throat> Like I I mean I, I I just I don't mind going, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. But like, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that point, y'all. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I asked you. I said it's good to be back. Fuck that. Okay, I said. Uh, okay, let's say you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. What if, if not every day? If she's just like not, because obviously you can't really have sex every day. There's like four or five days in the month that you can't have sex. So that's not true. on. A- what do you mean it's not That's true? That's not true. There's no time in the month, if you have the right equipment, there's no time in the month where you can't have sex. There's no time. Well, month. there are four or five days in a month that I'm not going to have sex. Shout out to, uh, shout out to the Corporate Street I Podcast. I was just about- <laughs> Hold on. Shout out to the Corporate Street Podcast. No, shout out to Sarah. Shout out to, uh, it was a Sarah. It was Sarah. It was Sarah. It was Sarah. The soft cup. Yeah, soft cup. The motherfucking soft cup. Get no, it wasn't. Cup. No, it wasn't. No, it, it wasn't. KB. That was KB. It was KB to say. Yeah, because she, because she savage. Shout out to KB. Yeah, out in St. Louis. Yeah, she savage. We know about them soft cups. I'm going to look for them hoes. Oh tomorrow. man, well, I, 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 I don't have to do that because I ain't. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Office, I'm not looking for it. I'm not looking for but it. But I'm just saying that 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 validates the fact. Man, that I'm going old school. Put the towel down every day. <laughs> and, but 
<laughs> I was just talking about that. Uh, I'm Friday. the old school putting the towel. Like, I ain't yo, doing all that. Uh, like when I was like 21, 22, like you just got the big ass beach towel and put the towel down. Yeah, like, that was it. You get the one with the bleach stains. You yeah. put it down and you get it in. I mean, that's just what it depends on. How kind of just depends on how heavy the flow is.